Here we go, another entry in anniversary games. Now, happy uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. I got a little bit of green up here just to celebrate. I'm not wearing any green, no green underwear, none of that nonsense. So uh, 10 years ago, this game came out in America, or did it come out in Japan first? Well, I know that it came out 10 years ago today, so we're going to look at um, Grand Theft Auto. Now, this is the third and final Grand Theft Auto game on a Nintendo, uh, well, if you're only looking at um, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and then the DS. Here we go. So we got, we got drugs down at the bottom and the money at the top. I also have Grand Theft Auto uh, Liberty so Stories for the uh, PS Vita. What well, was PSP? So um, it's a little bit blurry, but I will fix it in a minute. We're going to go out the door. Let me see what this computer tells me here. What is this? Da, 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 da. Let's get out. Log off. Fuck off. Log off. Let's go out the door. Okay. Uh, so this is the way the gameplay goes. It's very much a top-down affair. And I forgot the controls for this shit. Now, I played this before uh, and did a recording before, but nobody gave a shit. So I'm just doing a little bit this time. Probably about 20 to 30 minutes. My phone cannot record more than 30 minutes, and I'm not super, super anxious to play this right now. But what you're looking at is what it is, a top-down sort of Zelda-like game and not like a first person. Liberty City Stories on the PS Vita is more of that. So, I mean, like, we got, like, True Crime Streets of LA and New York City on the uh, GameCube. And I think that was the last time you saw anything. And the only thing that came closest was No More Heroes on the Wii. But nothing, or uh, maybe that parody uh, Retro City Rampage that you could get on the 3DS. Let me see what my missions are here. So, bottom screen shows you the map. Top screen shows you the, the action here. So, let's see here. Um, let's go to this Z here. Whatever this Z is. So, I'm going to have to... Yeah. I'm going to keep an eye on the screen and then the bottom screen to see if I'm blurry or not. That's a lot of work. But I'm willing to do it. Oh, shit. How's my driving so far? It's hard to drive on a top-down point of view because you just can't see where the fuck you're going. It's like, it's like those 2D levels of Super Mario Brothers. All right, let's see. We're at the Z, so I'm not sure. You know, you have two different people you're, you're a bitch for. Two, two different bosses you owe money to and shit. Here we go. Let's see what this is. Bomb disposal. Oh, this looks like fun. I can't wait for the drama here. In his final months as boss, Sin Jiaoming is losing the respect of several major business associates and dealers. What are you doing? These fools act disgracefully. Now I'm trying to act, I'm acting like an Asian, trying to act like with the Brooklyn accent. Their obedience to our leader should be absolute. To bring them back in line, the sin is going to blow up the vehicles in which they slash their drugs, and we're gonna we're gonna help. Yes, fuck no, <laughs> fuck that motherfucking shit. You're gonna stop sin bombs bomb vans, sin's bomb, so that I can safely steal the drugs and I can pose for Playboy, even though that's. Then present myself as the only competent operator. It's win-win. Wang, you've got to grow up. Oh, we're blurry again. Let's see if we can go back. So, before I go back to clear screen, uh, get to the stash cards before the attack begins. Okay. Uh, okay, I try to get this screen adjusted a little bit. So... I gotta go to these different places, it seems. I gotta find my car and figure this out. 
Where the fuck is my car? So there's some vulgarity. There's some swearing, just like any other uh, Grand Theft Auto. I guess, I mean, like, the Nintendo Switch is known for two things. You know, um, guaranteed nindies and uh, ports of older games. So I could see uh, San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto V getting onto the Switch, don't you? Since bombs have been armed, oh shit. I've got less than three minutes to disarm bombs. Oh shit. I'm sure I'll make it before anything bad happens. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh, that was an accident. Oh shit, wait, wait. I had the same problem with Saints Row and True Crime New York City. Just... Okay, here we go. It's Spider Man disarm the bomb time. Uh, enter the van. Okay, here we go. This is, bo this is uh, open the screen. You have to use the stylus. I don't know how it works on the uh, PSP, but... Okay. Uh, use the vol voltmeter to find the wire. And then... A bomb has been diffused. Okay. Um... God damn it. Get me in the car! Get me in the car! Uh... Fuck. Oh, shit. Out of my way, motherfuckers. I should have been drinking before I drove. I got two more bombs to defuse. Let's see if I can do it in record time. I got over, just over a minute. Let's see. Okay, here we go, another. Isn't this fun, boys and girls? What's the matter, you don't like this game? It's 10 years, it's the 10th anniversary, that's why I'm playing it. Okay, uh... yeah, this one. All right, bomb has been diffused. Uh, get out, get out. And... Sorry if my game plays a little weird and wonky. Oh shit. Okay, right and then left. Uh, I got, oh shit, I got nine seconds, eight seconds. I got eight seconds, six seconds. Ah. Uh, what? Oh shit. Mission failed. Well, I tried. That's the most important thing. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Well, I ended up at the hospital. So anyway, that was Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Um, not a bad game. Overall, I give it about an eight to nine out of 10. It just, it would get a 10 out of 10 if this game could be, you know, like first person, you know, you could see the car, but that's what I have Liberty City Stories for. There's another mission where I'm supposed to, uh, basically uh, rob the gas station and then take off and hide from the cops. And that was stupid. Uh, what is it? Uh, what is it the guy says? Oh, yeah, you think you're funny. Well, laugh this off. You're going to want to go and clean this mess up. Yeah, don't think so. Anyway, um, happy 10th anniversary GTA Chinatown Wars. And may you find new life on the Nintendo Switch.